Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, we are going to discuss the isometric view of the cylinder and the diameter of the cylinder is 40 mm and the height of the cylinder is 60 mm. So first of all, you have to understand cylinder is one type of a solid and to draw an isometric view of any solid, you need a box so that in that box you put your cylinder. So that's why you have to make a box first and put your box at an angle of 30 degree which gives you isometric view of that box okay so let's see how to make this cylinder or how to make a isometric view of cylinder so the method is known as box method and why it is called box method because we will put our cylinder in between the box like this you can see here I'll put my cylinder exactly in between this box okay so now you have to make this box first then you make the cylinder okay now see this this is a nomenclature of this box now start making this box or isometric view of this box first okay so let's start to draw this one so first of all you have to make a reference line so this line be any okay so select your any point this is a p point now make a line pq and the dimension of this pq line is whatever the diameter of your cylinder you can see here this pq line and ps line exactly touches your circumference of the cylinder so whatever the diameter of the cylinder is that should be the dimension of pq and ps so you can see that pq r s is a square in the same way w x y z is also a scale because this is also a diameter this is also a diameter of the cylinder this is also a diameter extension and this is also a diameter so this is a scale in the same way pqrs is also a scale okay so now this is a pq line exactly at an angle of 30 degree in the same way you have to join this line ps which is exactly at an angle of 30 degree and the ps is again whatever the diameter of cylinder is which is 40 mm in this case and again you have to draw qr okay and join s with r so this becomes your base of the box so in the same way you know that you have to draw this w x y z and the height of this box is whatever the height of your cylinder and height of cylinder is 60 mm so draw a line from p to exactly orthogonal towards your reference line this is exactly 90 degree this is exactly 90 degree towards your reference line and the length of this line is whatever the height of the cylinder is okay so height of the cylinder is whatever the height of your box is so this is w point so in the same way you can join this s z and the height is again 60 mm so in the same way this is q x which is again 60 mm so now you are going to join this w x with w z so you have to show this y point so this is z y so this is y point and this is x y so this is a box and this box represents the isometric view of box now i put my cylinder over here so when i am talking about this putting the cylinder in between this box you have to make a this ellipse you can see that when you see this circle or you know that the top view of the cylinder is always a circle but when you see that circle at an some angle it gives you ellipse it doesn't give you circle okay that things we have already discussed in the previous videos when i talk about the four center method to draw an ellipse so i am again repeating that process over here that method is known as four center method to draw an ellipse so the method you know that first you have to draw the center lines like this this is the midpoint of the xy and this is the midpoint of wz again you have to join this midpoint so you have to select two points now this is w point and from w point i'll join this line like this again you have to join line like this okay in the same way from y to this one and y to this one so this is my four center method this is a first center this is a second center 
this is a third center and this is a fourth center okay so i have four centers now i'm going to make a ellipse over here so i'll select this one and open my compass like this open my compass up to this radius and make an arc like this in the same way i'll select this point and open my compass like this up to this radius and make an arc like this in the same way i'll put my compass on point y and open my compass up to this distance and mark an arc like this okay in the same way now i put my compass on w and open my compass up to this distance and make an arc like this so this is a ellipse you can see that this is a ellipse over here this is exactly elliptical shape when you see this cylinder at an angle of 30 degree now to make the base of the cylinder you can see that this is the top of the cylinder and in the base you have to draw like this first you have to make a selected point which is in this case r point and from r point i am making lines exactly at the midpoint of this ps and pq okay so now instead of this making this four centers i am taking like this i'll join like line like this sq and now i'm going to make a arcs over here now you see that i got my intersections over here this is a first center the second center okay now i'll see this now i'll draw the edges line you can see that this edge is also here this is visible to me this is also visible to me so in the same way this is visible to me so i have to join these edges you can see that from the this way you can see this edge and this edge so now i'm going to make a ellipse over here and you see that when you see this view you will not be able to see the hidden part over here hidden part of the ellipse over here you will see only this one so i only draw from here to here okay so i do not draw over here okay also there is no need to show the hidden parts in the isometric projections okay so take this point and put your compass or steel part of the compass on this point and open your compass according to this one and make an arc like this okay in the same way select this one now and put your steel part on this one and pencil part on this one and make an arc like this okay in the same way you have to open your compass and put your steel part on this one and pencil part on this one and make an arc like this so it gives you a exactly cylindrical shape and this is a isometric view of cylinder exactly at an angle of 30 degree okay and only cylindrical edges you have to make thick over here there is no need to show this box as thick it should be it should be continuous thin lines and only the cylindrical edges or cylindrical lips you should make continuous thick i hope you understand this question that is very important question and very easy method to understand in this way thank you everyone